Yep. Having right. fun. I better get my act together and get some comedy ready then. Well, I have nothing, so I don't really care, you know, but that's the way it goes. <laughs> You know, but we're just gonna have some. We're gonna have some fun. I don't care. I'm, I'm, I'm gonna work up a new show, a totally new show, that I'm thinking of working up. That's gonna be mainly around all of Second Life. I plan to start writing it next week. Not so it won't be ready next Tuesday, but I have a week to write it. And then I'm doing a show at a new location a week from Sunday. I'll give you all that information next week. Uh, all right. The club is open and has actually uh, hired me. And uh, and actually, I think uh, Doc got hired too. We had to make a commitment. You were not on Catboy, so oh. we would have had a commitment. But you might be able to come and s- sneak you in or something. But we right. needed to book it, so I'll let you know about that. I'm all, all right. in. Sure, we got it. Yeah. But uh, it was fortunate. Doc was actually on at the moment, which was uh, all right. Unusual. Servers on day for the process. Servers what? Process me. When is that going to be me. again? It's going to be Sunday at one. PM, it's being held by a new group of people. I'll give out the information later, but it's actually a, a this the British. Not yeah, not this coming oh. one, the one after. Oh, good, good, because I want. Bloody hell! Yeah. I'm going to the Latin Bloody fields hell. out east. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Hello, Shauna. Hey, Shauna. We got a good crowd. We got some people here. See, we got wow. We got some folkies yep. in here. Whoops! Goodbye, yeah. Shauna. Twenty-seven. Just disappear. Oh no, she's someone oh. just crashed. Well, they didn't crash. They left. Charlize, so nice no. to see you sitting there. You look lovely. Oh, I like your outfit and everything. Very nice. Look, my favorite cheerleader. Oh, it's time. Bing bong. Oh, is it time? Up oh, there we go. Okay, ladies yep. and gentlemen, once again, <laughs> we are ready for showtime here in yeah. SL. So. Uh, <laughs> Welcome to Tuesday once again. Hope you all are having fun. I'll tell you, we're going to do a whole Robin Williams thing. Every one of us is going to do a bunch of things about Robin Williams. So don't worry about that. We will be doing things, best jokes, worst jokes, and everything else, okay? I do want to read you this. This was interesting. August 1st, if you missed this, in the Business Insider was Second Life has, devoted into a, has devolved oh, into a post apple apocalyptic virtual world and the weirdest thing is how many people still use it <laughs> wow. we, we're, we're all weird right yeah. this, I always like these people write this this, article this person me writes off. remember second life people who say remember second life are those people that came in for like an hour or couldn't figure out yeah. how to use the controls and left and okay? left right Launched in 2003 by Linden Labs it was an unprecedentedly wide and open free online world which allowed real money purchases. <laughs> Complete with its own in-game currency, it was a virtual reality with no objective other than to let people build and do what they want, and people were obsessed with it. Second Life was on the cover of Business Week. Major brands like Disney, Amazon opened up virtual shops. Universities were recreated, classified by 2009. 1,400 companies were using the space to hold meetings and conduct training. But somewhere along the line, the excitement <gasps> died. Companies started pulling out. Updates were few and far between. What started out as a social network was replaced by the new, special, and new, improved Facebook. Probably better, cheaper, and more reliable, and no doubt more accessible. Practically speaking, <laughs> more Second accessible? Life is stagnant. For people who mm-hmm. can't create. It says content. What? Yeah, it I is. said no, for people who can't create it, Facebook right. is better. Despite gloomy developments such as this, however, as many as one million people still regularly log into Second Life (laughs) instead of playing a Zinger game on Facebook. (laughs) Yeah. (laughs) (laughs) Imagine. What what changed is a collapse in the expectations and media attention. Also, a shift of in-game focus. Let me, before I go any further, explain to you. One million people are logging into Second Life. Now, if you think about it, Probably 900 million people are playing something like Candy Crush, which just goes to show you that the IQ uh, is really low over the vast majority of people yes. on the planet, all right? Yes. Yeah. There you go. Especially reporters. So, yeah. So this reporter mm-hmm. says, <laughs> also there's hope for a resurgence as Linden Lab develops integration of Oculus Rift virtual reality headset. Ooh, yeah. uh, and also, it says, what's changed is a collapse in expectations and media attention. Also, a shift in game focus away from lectures and recreated life and towards sex clubs, it's... dancing, and contests. Oh, second on, that's life all I do. Having a strange second life. <laughs> mm, yeah. Yeah, right. 
So we all came in here so we could go to lectures, right? So this is what the final paragraph says. I signed up for Second Life when it was launched and played for a couple of days, right? Uh, a couple of days, that's okay? It. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. So I know Deciding everything. Deciding the world wasn't for me. Intrigued to see what it was like today, however, I signed up again and spent a few hours last weekend. Oh, a whole month. Hour? Around, I recruited wow. wow. Oh, research. Yeah. Oh, oh, Got I an didn't old know they who, did who looks like she's anymore. from 2006. Yeah. She signed up and came in here instead of doing what? What do you think she could have been doing in first life? Playing yeah. Candy Crush. Yeah, playing Candy Crush, exactly. <laughs> right. I mean, I love these people who, who make these huge statements about us that don't even come in here and understand it, you know? Nope. I mean, every uh, person no in this club today knows why they're in Second Life. You know why you love it. You know why you don't like it. You still come back because nothing's replaced it. And that's something good, okay? Now, 900 million people do not read the New Yorker magazine. 900 million people don't read the New York Times. But 900 million people go to McDonald's and get a burger every day. Does that make that right? Yeah. That's enough of that. Well, okay. I read the New York Times in the New Yorker. <laughs> yes, I know you do. Ooh, what did I do? Did I? All right, I'm still good, right? <laughs> Power up. Okay. Yeah, your clothes are still on. Power up. All right, so that's where that is. We all know that. We got that out, people. That Now, I don't know how many of you know this, but this is a new – if anybody's looking for great comedy, okay, I just want you to know ahead of time Robin Williams passed away, so we're down to <laughs> average comedy for a while, okay? So just yeah. you know, I try to laugh at that. So – I don't know how many of you know this uh, company called Vicarious.com, okay? But every one of us needs a job in this place, all right? They are actually have, if you want to get a job, they have up there, join Vicarious. They are the benefits. You ready for benefits? Match this up against whatever you are doing at your current job. One, work on the most important problems in the field with a team who will challenge and support you. By the way, Vicarious is all about AI, artificial intelligence, and the working there. Two, an extremely generous salary and equity compensation. Three, health, dental, vision insurance paid 100% by the employers. All the premiums. You pay no premium, nothing, 100%. Healthy, organic breakfast and lunch every day mm. customized to your diet. They will serve you breakfast and lunch customized to your diet. Yeah. Get to work easily. Our office is 60 seconds from BART and public transportation and adjacent to a beautiful park. We do something active and fun as a team every week, like soccer, volleyball, badminton, or frisbee. Company wireless plan, no payment for your mobile or all your wireless full broadband capabilities at home, work, wherever you are, all wow. paid for by the company. I'm coming. All right, I'm in. Wait, more. <laughs> <laughs> Executive and life coaching for everyone. Select between different coaches depending on what type of skills you want to develop. Wow. Once a year, we take the entire company, including first number ones and kids, on a week-long vacation to Hawaii. Come on. Do one in. We have flexible hours and a family-friendly culture. Building the first intelligent machines is our life work, and we emphasize sustainability over crunch. And look at this, just so you realize what we're talking about here, all right? They're looking for a researcher, senior researcher, okay? And uh, desired personal oh, qualities. Sorry. Is, oh, welcome. Oh. Hello. We're so happy to see you. Are you kidding? Here's the Hi. desired personal qualities. Hi, Ailey. Integrity. Ability to admit when wrong, altruism, fearless working outside your comfort zone, patience with others, described by others as the best researcher, intellectual breath, and a sense of humor. How do you like that? Did, did everybody just log off and start to no. sign up for this? No, job? I'm, I'm in. You yeah. got me intrigued. <laughs> they think they're going to be able to get whoever they want. Okay. Let me yeah. tell you who the investors are in this company so you know who they are. Mark Zuckerberg, Jeff Bezos, Good Ventures, oh, Peter Thiel, Vinod Kouchla. Formation 8, Jerry Yang, Aaron Levy, Founders Fund, Ashton Kucha, Brian Johnson, Initialized Capital, Sam Altman, Adam Delangelo, Zarco Group, Mark Benoff, 
Janice Fries, Dustin Moskowitz, Kozlusa Ventures, la 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 la, la ba da ba da boo, be da ba. I want to okay. be a vet. I want to be in the. Yeah. Hey, Darko. Hello, so Harry. I'm so happy thing. to see you. Thanks, yeah. honey. And we have no music tonight, so we are going to bore you for an entire hour, okay? All by and, ourselves. And for those of you just Woo-hoo. showing up that missed those little couple of things that were about, that was good, the little second life thing. I want you to know something else that I found out. I was shocked. I spent a lot of time the last week here in Second Life. And do you know who the largest landholder is? And she's shown? Or Lyndon Lamb? Uh, Governor Lyndon, who I hear might sell his entire estate to the Blackwell Group. No. (laughs) (laughs) Yeah. I think he was talking to Bernie Madoff the other day. (laughs) Yeah, right. (laughs) So anyhow, that's where that is. That's that, and that's that. Let's have some fun with Robin Williams, who's passed away, okay? Here are a couple of his very famous uh, quotes. You know, he wasn't really one to quote little one-liners from because he was really, like Jonathan Winters, would go off on a tangent, you know, mm-hmm. almost as good as me. But, I mean, uh, what can I say? You know, I'm joking, joking, don't leave. But he said, yeah. why do they call it rush hour when nothing moves? <laughs> by the way for those of you who don't know this this quote is from him and we've heard this many places but how many of you knew this god gave men both penises and a brain penis and a brain but unfortunately not enough blood supply to run both at the same time Same time. <laughs> <laughs> that explains it yeah. never pick a fight with an ugly person they've got nothing to lose <laughs> <laughs> Politics, poly, a Latin word meaning many, and ticks meaning blood-sucking creatures. <laughs> <laughs> In England, if you commit a crime, the police don't have a gun, and you don't have a gun. So if you commit a crime, the police will say stop, or they'll say stop again. <laughs> yeah. oh. <clears throat> He's, this is another quote that you all know, that you know this is from him. Cocaine is God's way of saying you're making too much money. Yeah, I know. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, this is a quote, and boy, after what's happened to him, uh, you think about this. Comedy is acting out optimism. Mm-hmm. Yep. That says a lot. Uh, yeah, it says divorce from the Latin word meaning to rip out a man's genitals through his wallet. <laughs> <laughs> and this is one of his and we all like this one the psychic network if it's this, if it's a psychic network why do they need a phone number yeah. <laughs> <laughs> if women ran the world we wouldn't have wars just intense negotiations every 28 days <laughs> <laughs> My God, we've had cloning in the South for years. It's called Cousins. (laughs) (laughs) Uh, You'll notice that Bush never speaks when Cheney is drinking water. (laughs) (laughs) I like that. You could talk about same-sex marriage, but people who have been married say it's the same sex all the time. A few more quotes. He really deserves this to be somewhat. I had to change all the yeah. backgrounds here and everything else because of this. So we got it up to date. And there's Robin Williams as, of course, the famous Mork. And here's Mork. Robin Williams. I thought this was a great picture of him on the stage down below. It just really gives you a more poignant moment and what happened. <coughs> so this is from uh, The Crazy Ones, 2013. Mitch, uh, Sydney accidentally hit another car. Why don't you tell your wife to be more careful? Simon Roberts, my wife, how dare you? That's my daughter. Although my second wife was her age, so I withdraw my indignation. Uh-huh. That. Okay. <clears throat> Simon Roberts, I'm ready to pitch them the truth. Australia, it's so hot, not even the Nazis wanted it. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Well, from Old Dogs, being Dan in 2009. Dan, whoa, does this drink come with a diving board? It's insane. <laughs> okay. All right, let's go back a little bit and catch something from the, from the insomnia playing Walter Finch. I hope, oh, wait, let's do this one from the night 
at the museum, 2006. He played Teddy Roosevelt. Do you remember that? Yes, I do. Mm -hmm. Yes. I saw that movie. All right. <clears throat> Here's Teddy Roosevelt. Anything's possible, Lawrence. If it can be dreamed, it can be done. Hence the 20-foot jackal staring right at you. Larry starts to look Teddy Roosevelt. Don't make eye contact. All right. This is not very good. You're grabbing him out of here, but it's just for the fun of it. All right. 1998 Patch Adams. Do you remember that? Mm-hmm. Hunter Patch Adams, I wanted to become a doctor so I could serve others, and because of that, I lost everything, but I've also gained everything. Okay, Goodwill Hunting, remember him in that? Sean yeah, McGuire. Sean, do you have a soulmate? Will, define that. Someone you can relate to, someone who opens things up to you, for you. Sure, I got plenty. Well, name them. Shakespeare, Nietzsche, Frost, O'Connor. Well, <laughs> that's great. They're all dead. Not to me, they're not. You can't have a lot of dialogue with them. Not without a heater and some serious smelling salts. <laughs> <laughs> now, we go back a little further. Do you remember Jumanji? I love that. Yes. Jumanji, oh, do you remember yes. that That's one? a fun movie. Fun. Yeah, that yes. was great. So he was Alan Parrish. Sarah Whittle says, Alan, you wrestled an alligator from me, Alan Parrish. It was a crocodile. Alligators don't have those little fringe on their hind legs. My mistake. <laughs> <laughs> Mrs. Doubtfire, one of the greats of all time, right? Mm -hmm. uh, this is at the mm -hmm. pools. Your day is on me, Mrs. Doubtfire. Anything you need, just put on my tab, okay? Mrs. Doubtfire, oh, thank you, dear. Stu leaves. Mrs. Doubtfire, touch me again and I'll drown, drown you, you bastard. <laughs> <laughs> and from Mork and Mindy, right? Oh. Nano, nano. <laughs> Shazbot. Shazbot. Mindy McConnell, Mork, why are you building a tower of Cheerios? Mork, because it's hard to stack oatmeal. <laughs> <laughs> Anyhow, we got a couple of those out there, just some for, for some fun. Okay. And uh, uh, you might remember this on the Immaculate Conception, the night that Mary said to Joe, Joe, I'm pregnant. And Joe went, holy mother of God. And she went, you're right. Yeah. Oh, Jesus Christ. <laughs> What a great name, Joe. This is so much better than Shamul. <laughs> yeah. uh, do you think God gets stoned? I think so. Look at the platypus. <laughs> that puts it right. Yeah. <laughs> we had gay burglars the other night. They broke in and rearranged the furniture. That's an old joke that we all laughed at. Yeah. Way back when, if you remember, right? Yeah. Uh, yeah. Talking on the Jonathan Ross show about having a colonoscopy, he said, I don't mind the camera. It's the crew that was painful. <laughs> 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 oh, by the way, just an announcement here. A company called Exact Science today got FDA approval. Instead of doing a colonoscopy, all you have to do is take a little stool sample. They send it in. They can read the entire thing from there. And if you've got a problem, then you go in for the next thing. So you wow. no, no longer will have to go through a colonoscopy as your first methodology. And this thing costs $599. I was about to say. Medicare will pick up $508 of it. And your regular <laughs> insurance will pick it up. And I thank you all because I own the stock before they got FDA approval. So that's delightful. Thank you so much. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh. Let's see what else we got here. Okay, well, we got a few of those and a few of that and a little of this. We got other people want to tell some of the uh, some of the jokes. But here's one or two more, and then I'm going to switch over to a couple of our great comedians that are here with us tonight. Again, from our great Robin Williams. I couldn't wait for success, so I went ahead without it. <laughs> <laughs> here's another one. God's in my head, but the devil's in my pants. <laughs> <laughs> If your ship doesn't come in, swim out to meet it. <laughs> <laughs> I like that. 